All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here once again. But today, may you please give me a second to just take a look at what I'm holding right now? Do you know what is this? Well, it's just pieces of empty paper. But with this paper, there's probably like a picture on the other side of it. So can you guess what kind of picture will it be? Let me give you some clue. It has to be something that you can keep in your backpack, carry to school. It can be study material. Yes, of course. You can read, write, or even learn from it. Oops. You might think there's a book or something else, but uh huh. Got you. It's a laptop. Why do you have laptop here? That could be a secret. So let's the topic reveal everything. First of all, I would like to pay my higher respect to the chair of the ceremonies and all participants. My name is Chu Kim Hain, a Lebanon student from Belty International School Campus 15, Chupuva Market. Today, I'm going to present the topic: the educational sector is heading to digital platform. But before we start, I would like to shift your focus on a key term. According to igiglobal.com, the word digital platform means any electronic tool for communications, include desktop, mobile, socials, and email. A lot of time. The topic of study has been brought up, but unfortunately, many speakers only speak about how important it is. But what about the developments of educational sector? Similarly, as we humans have been educated for a considerable amount of time, the educational system or the process of learning in school has evolved over time and from generation to generation. However, when I said that our educational sector is developing, some people may wonder and ask, like, how is educational sector developed? Because till this day, I still go to school, open up my book, and listen to our teacher simply. I don't see anything change at all. Well, as far as you have phone in your hands, or maybe huge projection screen appear in your classroom. You'll get to know how it changed. If it gets into past a little bit, our country Cambodia here has been through three decades of civil war, which caused the declines in many sectors and a hard time for students back then to receive a proper education. Comparing to this day, everything is much, much easier. Not only because of the peace, but also the advance of technology and modernization that has positive impact on educational sector. Nowadays, we surprisingly see both public and private schools start to put out technology or digital. Digital platform for the student. At this point, we might not get to know yet about the exact times or how the digital platforms enter our educational sector. So, ladies and gentlemen, first point: COVID pandemic. I can say that this is the start and the biggest change in our educational system. We all definitely understand when everybody locked inside their house, student can go to school. Disrupted educations over 150 countries and affected 1.6 billion students all across the world. But luckily, we have government that pays such great attention to this and came up with a practical solution of online learning, which allows students to continue their study at home by using their smartphones or computer and have teacher take through all those applications such as Telegram or Zoom meeting. After this context and horrifying situation, we can see the sharp transition from traditional learning to digital learning, where many schools start to incorporate online learning. Until this moment, I pretty much believe that many of us still use our phone to send schoolwork or do assignment. Is that right? Second, to prove that our educational sector is truly heading to digital platform, I have one of the greatest examples to show you is doing research. In the past, if you want to know something and have to do a search for it, oh my goodness, that literally the time when someone has to go to library, grab some books, flipping through hundreds of pages just for a single information. What about today? Just a click on your smartphone or computer, everything will pop up just like what you want. And that is why I choose to present a laptop instead of a book. Overall, this can only be seen as the beginning of the new era that causes massive changes in our educational system. On the other hand, I would also like to remind that even though you may be holding a modern item like phone, but you must remember to have your hand on book as well, because it was book that get you to where you are now. Like Mr. Barack Obama once said. Technology is not a silver bullet. It's only as good as teacher. Using it as one more tool to have inspires and teach and work through problems. Finally, I would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Lee Chang, Mr. Lee Boon Chai, for always providing students with good educational system. No matter what the situation we are in, he will always be there and help provide things like Belty app, competitions, and more. With all of my respect, thank you very much. Thank you.